prosperity. We saw. We saw old people. We saw young men providing, working hard to provide livelihood for themselves with the support of the Ministry of Poverty Alleviation in Delta State. They deserve a round of applause, please. Dr. Emmanuel Iweta Uduagan was born on October 22, 1954 to Chief and Mrs. Edmund Uduagan of Abig Borodo in Wari North Local Government Area of Delta State. He attended the United First Baptist Primary School of Garifay from 1961 to 1966. Later on, he attended the Federal Government College Wari between 1968 and 1974 and the University of Benin from 1975 to 1980, where he graduated as a medical doctor. He also obtained a diploma in anesthesia from the same university. Governor Duagan was honored as the most outstanding core doctor in Quara State at the end of his service here. He started his working career in 1983 at the Delta Steel Company at Alaja near Wari, where he rose to the rank of senior medical officer. Between 1989 and 1994, he worked at several hospitals including West End Hospital Wari, Benani Hospital Benin City and Shell Hospital Ugunu Wari. Thereafter, he went into private medical practice and established the Abode Clinic in memory of his grandmother. Unable to reach out to as many people in need as he would have wanted to, he sought a wider canvas by venturing into politics. Dr. Dwagan is a grassroots-oriented politician. He was a founding member and chairman of the All Nigerian Congress Association, Wari South Local Government Area. Foundation and executive member of the Grassroots Democratic Party GDM and founding member of the People's Democratic Party PDP. On the electoral victory of the People's Democratic Party in Delta State in 1999, Dr. Emmanuel Uduagan was in August the same year appointed the Commissioner for Health. His accomplishments as a commissioner were so outstanding that he received an award as the most outstanding commissioner in the South-South, Southeast Geopolitical Zones. In June 2003, he was appointed secretary to the Delta State Government. A distinguished physician, dependable and diligent administrator, philanthropist and a brilliant and calculating politician with a wide reach and support across all segments of society, Dr. Dragan was elected by popular ballot on April 14, 2007 and subsequently sworn in as the governor of Delta State on Tuesday, May 29, 2007. On January 6, 2011, he was victorious in a rerun election ordered by the court. He was sworn in on January 10, 2011, even as he prepared for another electioneering campaign for the April 2011 general elections, which he also won and was sworn in for a second term on May 29, 2011. Since mounting the saddle of leadership in Delta State, Dr. Emmanuel Iweta Duagan has established himself as a detribalized, dedicated, development-conscious, people-oriented, and Pacific leader whose leadership qualities which have resulted in the massive socio-economic upliftment of the state. A lot of things are happening in the United States. A lot of things are happening in the state capital as well. And our state capital is beginning to assume the status of a defeating state capital or a state called Delta State in Nigeria. His administration is anchored on a three-point agenda, peace and security, human capital development and infrastructural development. Under his administration, Delta State has remained the most peaceful state in the Niger Delta, determined to reverse the poverty trap that had shackled the people. From only farming and fishing, we were assured of three square meals. But today, that land probably is to farm, probably polluted. People have difficulty in feeding themselves. And when they cannot feed themselves, they become hungry. And when you are hungry, you are angry. And when you are angry, you are violent. Severe and serious environmental pollution. And we need to deal with it. So the time for climate change is now. Governor Dragon's focused policy through a bottom-up approach using the Delta microcredit scheme was so successful in reducing poverty and empowering the people. It's the microcredit scheme that gives immediate employment to uh, the unemployed. Uh, so we laid emphasis on the microcredit scheme um, as low-hanging fruit for our strategy uh, in dealing with unemployment. And uh, with the emphasis we laid on it, uh, we got a lot of people uh, engaged uh, by funding them. Uh, but you know, when you fund one person and the person opens a business, uh, no matter how small the business is, uh, most of those businesses employ a minimum of five uh, with time as they grow from the micro businesses to small scale businesses and uh, medium scale, they employ more. 
You know? So it has a multiplier effect, the microcredit scheme. That is why we, we laid the emphasis on the microcredit scheme. In addition to preparing uh, the big ticket um, industries that will employ people uh, later on. At the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN honored him twice in 2008 and 2010 with awards of the best governor in reducing poverty through the microcredit scheme, including the Kwame Nkrumah Leadership Award by the All Africa Students Union based in Ghana. Governor Dwagon's policy on health care was adjudged the best in the country in the area of maternal and infant mortality, which is by far the lowest on the national average. His free medical care for children and the elderly must have accounted for this. They think they need to illness, they need to sickness. They think we make our children sick. They think they kill our children. So we must keep our environment clean. You ask me what is, what is uh, closest to my heart. It's our free maternity, uh, maternal health care service. That, that is one that is really uh, the closest to my heart, yes. Because uh, uh, governance is about human being. And, um, uh, the beginning of a human being is, is the pregnancy, and so we're able to pay attention to uh, the child while he's still in the mother's womb, really, is the dearest part of whatever I'm doing to my, to, to my heart. You, you can construct all the rules, you can air condition all the environment, and um, if, you, if you bring, uh, if uh, women start delivering children that, that are not uh, uh, acceptable in society, uh, those things don't mean anything. On resolving the Niger Delta question, Governor Uduagan is on record as the only governor from the region that has implemented the policy of allocating 50% of the 13% derivation to the oil bearing communities through the Delta State Oil Producing Areas Development Commission. He also recorded remarkable achievements in the education, transport and agricultural sectors. He also executed several road projects and the Asaba International Airport, which has impacted positively on the economy of Delta State. Yes, yeah, uh, the, the, the international airport was a necessity and it was part of our agenda uh, uh, for uh, a Delta beyond oil. Uh, and what does that mean? Um, an economy that uh, looks at oil as a springboard of developing other areas uh, areas of agriculture, um, solid mineral, culture, and tourism, and all that. But to be able to get to develop those areas, you need some critical infrastructure. Um, and an airport is part of the transport critical infrastructure that you need to attract investors. Because of the airport, uh, we have a lot of investments coming into data today. Um, we have the investment in agriculture, uh, investment in tourism, in fact, that's how I said, it's, <laughs> I would say it's literally exploding with um, hotels springing up here and there. Um, it, it has paid off. Dr. Emmanuel Iweta Duagan, a devout Christian of the Baptist faith, is happily married to Mrs. Sheila Urowoli Uduagan, and the union is blessed with two children. Dr. Duagan was conferred with the National Honor of the Command of the Order of the Niger, CON, in recognition of his contributions to national development. He has been an advocate of Delta State Beyond Oil, and the drop in the price of crude oil has made it imperative for the nation to look beyond oil for sustainable development. No, talking to you now, you are more interested in the airport, so you remember <laughs> me for the airport. <laughs> but the, the other woman, the woman who, uh, who, was, who, had, who never had the opportunity to deliver it in, 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 in a uh, hospital setting before, is able to deliver it now, or she remember me for the free maternal uh, healthcare uh, service. The market woman who, before now, uh, while I go to the market, uh, enter buses that can see the road while, while uh, uh, inside the bus, but now is able to enter new buses, air condition, half price, we always remember uh, me for that. If you go over the state now, you see uh, uh, Graham buses, Graham bus station and all that. Uh, those things will be there for quite a long time.